Well, howdy everybody. Good to see you again. I was just out here checking out my Elbon rye and you can see it's really coming up good. You can see the rows where the no-till drill hit it. It's really starting to look good here. Really pleased with what I'm seeing. So hopefully I'm going to have some good winter pasture here in the not too distant future but while I was coming out here looking I noticed that I have a loose wire and you can see this a deer or something caught this wire and it's flopping not not as tight as the others the others are pretty tight still so I wanted to show you a little tool that I stumbled on I, probably a lot of you have seen it but I, I want to show you this tool and see it in action it's pretty handy for this kind of repair so stay tuned. So this is a little tool you can carry in your whatever vehicle you're traveling in. And this is called the Texas fence fixer. I don't know if you can see that embossed on the handle here. Texas fence fixer. Made in Seguin, Texas. It is out of cast iron it feels like. Really heavy duty. Got a chain mechanism here to once you get the wire tight you're gonna grab the handle here to keep it in place while you do the repair. And then these two this articulated mechanism here is what grabs the wire and allows you to pull the wire tight to do the repair. So Texas Fence Fixer, you go to texasfencefixer.com and the owner of the company will answer the phone and he'll ship you yours. Um, very reasonably priced and I rather like it. So you need three tools when you're going to fix a loose wire like this without getting the fence stretchers and all the paraphernalia that that requires. So you need the Texas fence fixer. You need a piece, a length of wire, either barbed, which is what I happen to have today, or smooth. Smooth is going to be easier on your hands, obviously. Um, and you need a pair of uh, fence pliers. And I've got a pair that happen to have a hammer on them too. They've got the cutting mechanism. These are really handy fence pliers. And these are called the Plammer. P-L-A-M-M-E-R. Made in the USA. So something you might want to want to invest in. So I'm just going to put my length of wire here on that top wire. My pliers here where they're... Um, easy to access and what you do is just spread this uh, articulating arm apart like so grab the wire and then you got to use your body but you're going to come and get that as snug as you can and then catch it with the chain now I'm going to try to get this next length so there you have it. It's caught the wire. You can see the little bit of a bend that gets it plenty snug. And then you're going to take your length of wire. And again, um, probably best to wear gloves, but I don't typically carry gloves. So um, just me, but most people will. And so you're going to wrap that wire around one side here. And obviously I'm careful to try to avoid the barbs. And then you're going to come across the fence fixer and then wrap the other length on the other side of that of the wire. And it doesn't have to be a lot of wraps. Obviously I got way more wire than I need, but I'd, I always like to start with more than less just in case. And so I've got that where I want it. I'm going to take my pliers and cut off the excess. And then 
it's easy from there. You stick the handles of your fence pliers between these two lengths of wire and you just go to twisting. So I'm going to twist it, stick your pliers in, twist it again, stick your pliers in, twist it again, and you're going to get that up as snug as you want it. Now obviously you don't want to break the wire by getting it too tight. I've done that before and that's no fun. And that repair is done just that quick. And if I wasn't trying to video it, it would be a little bit quicker. So you're done. You release the Texas fence fixer and that wire is tight. Now we've tightened that enough that these wires are just a tad loose. So I'm gonna tighten them up but it's the Texas Fence Fixer, Seguin, Texas. Call the number at texasfencefixer.com. And when I did that on a Sunday, um, just trying to find out more information and see if the website was correct, I called the number that's listed, the owner answered. Very kind gentleman said that he would get back with me when he got out of church that day, which he did and he promptly got me um, this tool. So very nice tool, something I'd suggest you may consider for your toolbox.